Well, hi, and welcome to Coffee with Chris. It is Wednesday, 9-1-1. It's a day that probably none of us will ever, ever forget. We remember what the day was like. It was beautiful, clear blue sky. We remember where we were. I remember I was walking into my bank, heard what had just happened at the first tower and thought, I just assumed it was a mistake. And I think that's probably, it was a big mistake, but it is something you just kind of, you get emotional about. And um, just thinking about the families that lost dear ones in that and recognizing all of those heroes that came out that terrible day and the days after to try to save people. So um, 911, we can never forget. Okay, so we are the front porch located at 24 South Main Street in downtown Pennington, New Jersey. Thanks to you, our wonderful friends and customers. This is our 27th year. People come in here and they just can't believe it. They just can't. So once again, I am surrounded with items that I need to show you. First of all, Jelly Cat, which we all love. And you know, it's not just for babies anymore. We have all these young girls and guys coming in here, heading right for the back looking for Jelly Cat. Jelly Cat, because it's so popular, seems to be having some problems. Uh, we've, we've had some things on order for months and we're just anxiously awaiting them. We did get all of our Halloween in. It is basically gone. I'm just looking at this guy. I just wanna let you know, Ricky, we just have, I think maybe one or two of him left. Other than that, all of our Halloween is gone. And probably over the next two weeks, we think our holiday will be coming in. I don't even wanna talk about it, but all I wanna to say to you is, you can actually um, see most of this on our website and um, Am tries to keep it up to date. So, you know, you can take a look or you can always come in and see us or you can call us at 609-937-0071. Cell is 609-902-9200. And uh, email is sales at the front porch nj.com. So what got me going on Jelly Cat is the peanut just came back. We've we sold out of him so fast. We've probably had him on order for four months. He's hit the house. So one thing, reminder, anything you want, it still is this way with many of these companies. If you see it, Buy it because if you're going to think about it, put it on a list, it's not going to be there. So just back in for all you little peanuts out there. So really great. Then there's another item that I just have to show you. You might think it's kind of silly. I think it's kind of smart. I know a lot of you like the Wallaroo hats and we love our account executive Mary from Wallaroo. We just got a shipment back in again. We replenished all of our out of stocks because we sell these year round. We know you travel, you go on vacation and you need a hat. The Wallaroo hats currently are downstairs. Hopefully over the next week, we're gonna move them upstairs, but you still can go up, take a look and see how you like, and we will have them. But I just had to show you, this is something new for Wallaroo. If you are a traveler or like to, you know, take your hat on the road, which you should, and you go, you know, I'm not going to pack it because it's something that I might want to wear, or I just really just don't want to pack. Although a lot of their hats are packable. If they're not, you can always turn them upside down, put your clothes in the middle of the hat and around it, and it will be fine. But if you don't want to do that, they now have this wonderful magnetic clip. So, they're only $15 or if you decide that you wanna um, buy a couple of hats, if you buy two, 
we will actually give you this clip for free. I think it's great because, you know, when we went to Italy last year and when we went to Prague, I carried my hat. And it's just one of those things where you're thinking, oh, don't let me lose it. You know, you, your mind gets going and what can I say? Okay, so let's show you some more things. Michelle Design, our fall, and actually they came out with Halloween, just came in. And let me just show you this. This is their Halloween foamer. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> you know, I was telling you, you snooze, you lose. I guess we didn't get our order in fast enough. We couldn't get the Halloween guest towels, but Karen has paired them with these. I actually have this in my powder room and it really kind of looks, it looks kind of nice. And I know a lot of you don't buy them with a guest towel, so it really doesn't matter. They haven't had Halloween in a few years and I'm glad that they brought it back. Then let me just show you two for fall. Here we go. And I think this napkin is just so great. And just so you know, as far as napkins are concerned, when you come in, if you walk to the back of the store on the left-hand side, you will see our guest towels and napkins. And Betty actually has started to kind of control these, if you can control napkins. And right now, like on the door, we have all of our fall napkins, all organized nicely, thanks to Betty. But I just think these are just so, as our model face of the front porch would say, Lynn, super cute. And then let me just show you this one. Once again, let's get in the mood for fall. It is just gorgeous out, although it is not fall yet. I'm not rushing it. I played golf yesterday. <laughs> I'm planning to play golf again tomorrow and I'm not rushing it. It is just gorgeous. And then I just wanted to show you two candles that we got in. Ah, that wonderful smell of pumpkin, that one. And then our account executive said we really, oh wow, should try this one. So we have two choices for you in pumpkin if you wanna get into the mood. All right, oh, and then a lot of you have been asking us for diffusers. Right now, we've only been carrying Innis from Ireland, Fraser Fur, and we have the pumpkin from Time we decided let's get a couple of Michelle Design diffusers in. So I just wanted to let you know, we got in the lemon, which is one of their top three scents, the lemon diffuser. Those of you that haven't used one, I should have pulled this out, but I didn't. That's where you have the sticks. You just wet them in the oil, turn them upside down. When they dry, you turn them upside down again. This is great in a powder room. We also have uh, like a holiday spruce smell that just hit the house. I'll show that to you later, but if you're in a rush, uh, you definitely can ask us for things. You can ask us for Christmas napkins and all that, but we're not rushing it. I think we should enjoy each holiday one at a time. Okay, then from Swig, and this is a company we haven't had for very long, maybe six to eight months. You've shown us that you like it. So we brought in three new patterns that I have to show you. This one just came in. We got it in their three top most popular sizes, but this is just a great item, great item for you or a gift. We got in, I think they're calling this Disco Boots. A lot of you are into the, <laughs> those cowboy boots. I have mine from Ole Miss. I have to tell you, they are super comfortable and fun to wear. So if you feel like uh, a little bit of fun here, we have this once again, great gift or great for you. And last but not least, cause you know, we love Halloween. I just have to show you Boo. And this one actually glows in the dark. I didn't bring in, so you've seen two of the sizes. There's one more size out there. I grabbed this because I know you guys like sneak peeks and I just can't remember what the other size is. I think it is probably this, just so you know. But I can show that when I see you on Friday. I just had to show this to you. Then, let me keep this moving for you. 
stress balls. Now, I've shown you these before. You have liked them. You keep coming here and buying them. We have them in five different colors. People, your customers use these for exercise for their hands too. It's really great. But yesterday, Betty was getting these out. We now have the snowball stress ball. Same thing, but what a really great gift or a stocking stuffer or just something fun, the snowball. We had snowballs last year and you really like them. So I guess just, uh, it really feels good using those in your hands. All right, then last but not least, our wonderful friends from Smathers and Branson. We decided, Karen and I decided to bring in four different belts. You liked our belts last year, so we thought, what the heck for the holidays, let's do it. So I need to show you these. First of all, for those golf enthusiasts, look at this one. This would go with so many things. What a great gift. These, we got them in in 36, 38, and 40. Emily is going to have them up on our website. So uh, once again, reminder, if you wear a 36 pant, you're going to want to get a 38. And also, needlepoint. They're needlepoint and they are, they go over, Smathers and Branson goes over to Vietnam and teaches people to do the needlepoint out of their home. Then another very popular flavor of a adult beverage, Guinness. Very popular. <laughs> Not for me, but very popular. Uh, we just got this belt in once again in 36 to 40. And then I think this is adorable, <laughs> just adorable. As we always say, turkeys are hard to find. How's this? Do I have it right side up? Yes. What a great belt. I know you'd probably only wear it once a year, but what a great gift and family tradition this one is. I know we have a lot of family traditions around Thanksgiving. And last but not least, And we had something like this last year, the Griswold Christmas, which once again, you loved. We sold quite a few of these online. They really went down to the South. You guys love this story. Everybody loves this story. It's not Christmas without it. But once again, thinking Smathers and Branson, think the front porch. We have a great account executive with them and special orders are always welcome. All right, so I think that is it. Uh, on a personal note, just a reminder, we are down to the final countdown to my son's uh, Murph's uh, wedding and his marriage, <laughs> his wonderful bride, Nancy. We are all getting very, very excited. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So not yet but we're getting close. We call it the final countdown, right? So have a wonderful day. Um, and thank you for joining me. And once again, thinking of those of you that lost loved ones on 911 and shout out again to those wonderful heroes that were there. And as we always say, not all heroes wear capes to you. We'll see you on Friday.